Hello and welcome to this tutorial for how to change your obstacle avoidance settings on the Mini 4 Pro. So the drone is up in the air and I'm now just going to go into the menu system and show you what you can do to change all of these settings. But before I do that, I just want you to pay attention to this symbol here in the top right hand corner of the screen. It kind of looks like a landing pad, but that is actually our obstacle avoidance symbol. So when this symbol is white, obstacle avoidance is active. And if this symbol is in red, so if I flick to sports mode, now this symbol goes red indicating that obstacle avoidance has been deactivated. So that's because obstacle avoidance is only available to us when flying in cine or normal mode. If we put the aircraft into sports mode, obstacle avoidance becomes unavailable. So whenever you change to sports mode, obstacle avoidance will be deactivated. Now we're gonna jump into the menu system and talk you through all the settings. So to access the menu, first we need to do is click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then it's gonna come up first of all in the safety section. So if we have a look here, we have a few different options. First of all, for the obstacle avoidance action. Now, if this is set to bypass, if the drone encounters an obstacle, it's gonna do its best to calculate a safe route around the obstacle to keep flying. Now, if we change this to brake, this basically means if the drone sees an obstacle in its way, it's just going to completely stop and not move until you physically back out of the way of the obstacle and select your own safe path around it. And then we also have the ability to turn obstacle avoidance off completely. So if this is in off, no matter what mode you're in, obstacle avoidance is going to be deactivated. Now, just below that, we have the bypassing options. So if we have it set to bypass like it is right now, we have two options. We have normal and nifty. So in normal, the drone is going to do its sort of normal obstacle avoidance bypass actions. But when it's in nifty, the drone is going to take a little bit more risk and it's going to stick a little bit closer to these objects as it's bypassing them. And it's also going to have a bit more of a lenient sort of tolerance when it comes to bypassing multiple objects. Moving down from there, we have the option to display the radar map. Now, the radar map is basically a visualization that we get on the screen in order to help us quickly identify where obstacles are in relation to our drone. So if we see on the screen here, we have a circle that basically goes around the screen and the top of the circle is gonna be in front of the drone, the bottom of the circle behind the drone, the right of the circle to the right and the left to the left of the drone. Now, the color of this circle is also gonna change in intensity and different parts of it are gonna show depending where the object is in relation to the drone with yellow being the furthest away and then orange and then red being the closest. So this allows us to get a really quick visualization of where obstacles are in relation to our drone. And because of this, I always recommend that you fly with the radar map turned on. So those are all of the obstacle avoidance settings and options that we have available to us on the Mini 4 Pro. You now know how all of them work. If you've gained value from this video, consider becoming a member on Patreon as it's one of the best ways to support the work that I'm doing here. Now I actually also have a complete drone videography course which will take you from where you are now all the way to an advanced drone pilot and a cinematic genius. Now it's literally already transforming people's flying and footage and it will do exactly the same for you. Now I've actually also started a weekly newsletter giving you the latest drone news, hot tips and discounts and you can find all of this linked in the video description down below and whilst you're down there make sure to tap the subscribe button for more videos like this. You should go and check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.